Hello everyone and welcome back to another Ooblets episode where things have been updated and in this episode we are going to go through all of the fun updates this that they have given us in what they're calling the quality of life update. So I'm just going to go down the list demonstrating everything new that has occurred. One of the things that has occurred is widescreen support which I can't really demonstrate but know that that is now a thing, yay! Next up is the idea that you can put things on shelves. Whoa. There are things on the shelves. There's already things on the shelf to not have things. That's that's crazy. So my shelf already has things. And now we can put things on the shelves. So obviously I have all these beautiful gleamy of I have a lot of gleamies. Oh my gosh. You don't realize how many gleamies you have until you start taking them out. That we can now shelves. I've always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to be able to put things on the shelves, and this is really exciting to me. Look at that! All my little gleamies are on the shelf! That is so cool! So I got all my little gleamies on display, which is exciting, and I guess we should move on to the next thing. Oh, another thing that they've added is that they've made it easier so you can talk to Durable. It used to be I'd have to go all the way around the corner to talk to her, but they've added this cute little section just so we can talk to her. Something else I've added, which I'm really glad they did, is a join team button. So I can just scroll through any of the ooblets and I can be like, oh, I want Anston to join my team. I can click on him and click join team. It's really glitchy for some reason. Like, I can't click on new ones. I have to go to badges and then come in and then I can click a new one and have join team but I can't like click two in a row so uh hopefully that's something that gets sorted out soon but yeah if you do have that glitch just click another tab go back to this tab and then you can click whatever one you want so a bit inconvenient but at least it doesn't crash my game so there's that that's new as well there's an include nearby chest for this Meaning I can just make whatever because I have it on my nearby chest. I'm not sure what the radius is for, but it looks like it looks like it's my entire room because I have like my fruit troops and quibs might be on this side, but I know for a fact that my spark flowers is on the other side of the room. So that is super cool that I don't have to get up and try to find things. I can just click this button and see what I have. I approve of that. That's awesome. So I did check the wishy well to make sure there was no new recipes, so I'm assuming whoops, I'm assuming that means that the rest there is a new recipe, so I'm assuming to get the recipe we have to assemble this. There it is. We have the Sleuthy Ship. Allows you to go use their bed at any point during the day to sleep until the next day. Last until your next sleep. That is so useful. So it contains 40 energy too, so you can get like a last bit of energy and then finish up what you're doing and then go straight to bed. That's great. Something else to note is that supposedly they've made it so the ooblets aren't so uh, antsy about the spot they're on. So as you can see this guy's not really working, therefore I could do something to his spot. Unlike this guy who's actually actively doing something and therefore I can't touch that spot, which is pretty good. So I have in my inventory a Luxar and Walden figurine, and that is because if we race all the way to Town Hall, there should be spots for them somewhere. Uh, let's see if we can find it. So those are three I don't own or I haven't owned. Oh, here's we go. There's the Luxar space, so we can put him in. And it looks like they've put the Walden right here. So now we have all of them. I'm not getting any updates for completing it because technically I've already completed all of these uh, things. The only one I haven't is this because I'm missing three ooblets still. And that's that's because they can't really be found in except for dance battles. So, so I found the uh, printer that they were talking about that says print and insert strange square. What's strange square? I don't have anything that fits in this drive. If we talk to Ridala, will she tell us anything about it? The answer is no. That's interesting. And then you can print things. Let's see what that's about. Oh, so I can print- oh my gosh, so I can literally print any of them and they just cost uh, those, which is pretty good. So it has stored every single oogle I've used. So this is also a really good way just to see what you've done. So you can see like I have there. Some of them are a bit glitchy, but you can see all the ooblets I've collected so far. So in case you were curious what ooblets I had, here they are, all down a cool list. Oh, that's awesome. 
I love that. There's the two I don't have. So, and then we have trinkets. Uh, ooh. Well, I can get all these trinkets, so that's what I'm going to do. Give me a moment. I'm gonna go collect all my nerdies. All right, I picked up all my nerdies and even spent some energy getting some more, so we should have plenty to buy all the trinkets. So we have this thing, uh, a tabulator. Yes, I'll take a tabulator. Oh, isn't that like a cool fun little animation that it kind of just pops up? I like that. Now we have little plants. We're making a pen pot here. This is called a beep boop. Beep boop, beep boop. It's, I think it was called a planty, so it's a little teacup uh, planter. We have a random potion, not sure how that works, but we now have a potion. <laughs> As potion, that last one was called potion one, this one is cleverly called potion two. <laughs> we have a plotted plant one. A weird box, not sure what that's about. You can print out a stinky sock, not sure why you'd want to, but that is a thing. And finally, we have a keeper of warm. So each of those items cost 100. If you want to print a clicky claws, it only costs 15 nerdies. Uh, and it doesn't matter what version it is, it's always just 15 nerdies for any of the figurines. So the figurines are pretty cheap to get a bunch of. And in case you're wondering what that looked like, I guess I'll print one out for you. There it is. I would have been wanting a Tud figure, the gleamy version, because I donated mine to the uh, collection thing in the haul. So now I can have a gleamy one for my own. So I just did some research on where you could find this grain tray, and supposedly you can get them from fishing. So I guess I should make use of all the bait that I have. And you find them from the pier in Badgetown, so we'll be fishing over here and see if we can get one of these strange squares that they were talking about. <gasps> I did it! I got a strange square! Yes! Oh, I was checking like my phone, but let's go let's go put the strange square in. Alright, let's let's insert strange square, yes. Yes. Load strange square. Alright, so you could put more strange squares in? Interesting. How many of these are there? How long will I be here out of curiosity? What have we got? Okay, so I think I understand. So each strange square presents you with a really, really cute new little thing which you could decorate your house in. I don't I don't know how many there are. I might I might be here a while just fishing. So if you need me, I'm probably going to be fishing for the next twelve years, wasting a bunch of obsidian. Is that I can now move this chest despite it being full of stuff anywhere I want, which is so nice and exciting because it used to be you have to empty out all the chests so I can really start doing some real furniture placing and decorating my uh, my house now which is something i'm looking forward to doing even though probably not at this moment guys i'm either blind or this wasn't showing up but it's right here i've got it the kettle and cup it's mine now we can leave we leave you guys have no idea how long it took me to find that it was honestly kind of embarrassing also uh let me just let me just trigger a bunch more people for a sec really yep yep i'm doing it nothing can stop me all right now that we have the tea and kettle we can go see what it makes to make tea so let's go do that yay what do i have new items to decorate <gasps> oh so it's like a little thing that i now have to find a place for can i place it here and then we'll just rotate it to be all cutesy over here there we go open this up oh and now this is how what the heck is a palmy bloom where do i get a palmy bloom where do I find that? Oh, allows you to use your bed at any point during the day to sleep until the next day. All right. Also, we can do this. So you can see that I can make things like a large, like things. Um, 
What's the palmy bloom and how do I get it? Let's go check the store and see if there's a new crop I missed. So I spent ages fishing and I ton of obsidian, mind you, I still have 319, so I'm not worried about that. And I managed to get two more strange squares that we're going to insert in the printer. Sadly, I don't have time to like get any others. I'm assuming there's more trinkets than this, but at least we can take a look at these two three new ones. This one we've seen in some of the shops, so that's pretty cool and it's very cute and I like it. And then we have this potted plant, which is called Potted Plant 2, which is a really cool striped pot, which I like. And finally we have Potted Plant 3, which kind of looks a bit like a dead tree. It, it's not the liveliest thing, but it's it's a plant, and now we have it. I know eventually you can get like bookshelves and stuff like that because the commercial shows it, but again, I simply don't have time to do that, especially considering I want to get this out the day after the update comes, so... Yeah, that's, that's everything this update has to offer. I hope you guys found it interesting and as cool and exciting as I did. It. And I also hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye!